Hi everyone! Most of you have seen the GeoPlaces 4 frontend in action on our demo site, but let's take a look at some of the backend improvements we've made to this team. You probably noticed that the homepage looks virtually identical. One thing worth noting is that the homepage map now shows places as well as events. Also, the main navigation bar now supports various mega menu plugins. Since most of the things are same here, let's go to the dashboard. Unlike GeoPlaces 3 where you had to add your places as regular posts, GeoPlaces 4 features custom post types for events and for places. As we can see here, places, events. If you use Templatic themes like VP Locator or Vacation Rental, then you're familiar with Templatic framework and how theme options are organized. Most design settings can be found under the basic settings menu. These settings enable you to easily add a logo, change the date format, etc. Under style and color settings, you can easily change the look of your site by changing the background color or uploading a cool new image. Also, just like in all our other themes, custom style sheet can be used here as well. An interesting new feature can be found in the category listing menu. Unlike GeoPlaces 3 that displayed the main map only on the home page, now you're able to show map on all category listing pages. We can turn, on, turn that off and on right here. Let's leave that on and let's go to a category listing page. You can see the home page map appearing here as well. Let's check out advanced settings now. This section right here is what makes this theme so powerful. Email notifications and messages are just what you'd expect, a place where you can change your outgoing emails and various messages that display to your visitors. This time we included a list of all availa available variables so you know what is at your disposal while you're creating your emails. Manage permissions section enables you to control who has access to your site backend. These permissions override standard WordPress rules. Custom fields section is probably the most robust new feature. Unlike GeoPlaces 3 where you could only add new custom fields, here you can edit some of the existing ones as well as add new ones. If we click on the add a custom field, we'll see some of the new options available in GeoPlaces 4. You can now choose in which post types the custom field will appear as well as specific categories. An important new addition is the ability to add the custom fields to your advanced search. Along with post custom fields you can add profile fields under the user profile field menu. We can do this right here. Category settings are now much more feature packed. Along with category icons, you can set a specific price for each of your categories. Adding a new city has never been easier. Along with the option to display a default city to your visitors, now you can choose to show a splash page where your visitors can select their city. GeoPlaces 3 forced you to use your team frontend in, od in order to input the coordinates while adding a city. That's not the case here. You can easily add a city right here, right here from this form. So let's try and add a city. Croatia, region, city of Zagreb. it. We can change the name. You can see that when I zoom in and out the map scaling factor 
automatically changes. Another new option is that I can choose between setting the map at a specific zoom level or fitting all available listings. And of course I can choose which categories I want to include. So you can easily add a city in under a minute. Price packages are similar to what you could find in GeoPlaces. But this time you have much more options. One of the most requested features were recurring payments. We added them to this theme. You can you can turn them on right here. Another feature we significantly upgraded is bulk upload. Now you're able to choose what you're uploading posts, places and events. Also for the first time you're given the ability to upload and export cities. These are some of the features that are coming in the newest GeoPlaces theme. If you have any questions about the theme just comment on this video.